Daily Broadside, day 182. I bet having sex with a girl who's got a speech impediment takes a little getting used to. A little unsettling. Unsettling, as it were. I'm replacing all of my drinking glasses with goblets. Thick goblets. Greens. Reds. Because the goblet is the only way to drink a beverage, I've decided. It's taken me a few decades to figure that out, but here we are. Better late than never. I am uh, really disappointed that the liver king, I find out, is only like 5'7". I, I saw him standing next to somebody, somebody commented on his height, and I was like, dude, he's a midget. Like, he's a tiny little dude. Now he's cut, don't get me wrong. May or may not have fake abs, I don't know, but that's not important. He still looks pretty good, for his age especially. Guy probably stinks like the uh, outhouse door on a tuna boat, but nevertheless, since he doesn't use deodorant, that's to be expected. But I, I was just really disappointed because, man, could you imagine having those kind of genetics and that physique and only being 5'7"? It's like Franco Colombo, you know? That's just not cool, you know? You're never going to win when you got Arnie standing next to you and he's 6'2 and looks just as good. Uh, but anyway, I guess that gives somebody something to work for. Uh, incontinence. I've decided that I don't want a president that's incontinent. And there is no way that Biden ain't leaving stains in presidential furniture. The staff has got to be just disgusted with the uh, smells and things that come out of that dude. Because he's 104 years old, and that's just what happens to the human body at that point. And can we get a press secretary that doesn't have to stall, uh, act like she's listening to the question, looking through her stupid notebook so she can have the, the canned response that they want her to say just close the stupid notebook you Saki all the people before you just close the notebook and just answer the question it's not that hard you know tell us about inflation tell us about Taiwan tell us about you know the railroad strike tell us about Ukraine whatever just be able to answer that's your job you're the press secretary you shouldn't have to look for crib notes or cribbage cribbage notes crib notes whatever they were called back in like the 60s so yeah let's stop that post haste